Welcome to the Blow Up the Blueprint podcast, where it's all about how to use creative thinking in your business for a standout brand with your host, Joe Gifford. Hi, everyone. Welcome to episode eight of Blow Up the Blueprint podcast. In this episode, I talked to my really good friend, Heather Jones, the brain trainer, all about how to use creativity in training your brain. And it's a fascinating deep dive into the amazing tools that Heather uses to get her clients huge results in changing their mindset and changing everything about their lives in a really powerful way. Now, we actually recorded this podcast on a Facebook live stream. So we recorded it last week and you can actually catch that video In the show notes below on joegifford.co forward slash podcast, you'll find all my episodes and you'll be able to follow along with the tapping session, which Heather and I do as part of this podcast to, you know, walk you through some emotional freedom technique tapping in real time. So if you want to see the actual video of the interview, then do hop along to the show notes on joegifford.co forward slash podcast. So that's it for now. I'm going to hand you over to the episode itself, which was great fun to record. And as always, I would love to hear your feedback. And here's what I would also love if you guys are enjoying my podcast, please pop along over to iTunes and leave a review and share with your friends because the more people that hear about creative thinking, the better. On with the show. And we are live. Heather Jones. Hello, my lovely brain trainer friend. So for everybody watching, this is Joe Gifford here uh, doing a live record of the Blow Up the Blueprint podcast, which I think is episode seven. I have my wonderful, beautiful friend with me, the wonderful Heather Jones, the brain trainer. Hey, love. Oh, it's, it's <laughs> up a little bit. Oh, we got some glitch wheels. <laughs> we will see how we get on because sometimes be live can throw us a little bit of a curveball but um so today heather is my guest on the podcast and as we do with every single episode of the podcast we're talking about how to use creative thinking and heather is a genius with this stuff as with so much other stuff that she uses in her business and i really love how heather integrates creative thinking with what she does with her clients so heather first of all let's set the stage who are you and what do you do so hey thanks joe i'm heather the brain trainer i train people's brains to think differently to just get them out of those old patterns those negative loops and get them yeah beneficial thinking patterns just back in love with their life basically and in fact, you you had a big shout out uh, last week because I interviewed the lovely Suzanne, yes. Suzanne Westwood. And you know we were both giving you so much love on, on how to really raise creative people, uh, you know, with their careers. And, you know, we we're both talking about how you really work with both myself and Susanna to really get under some blocks and really get rid of some of that mindset stuff. Now, I've been a personal recipient of your friendship, but also of your genius work with you know really digging deep into some of those mind blocks and we're going to talk about that in a minute but you haven't always done this brain training stuff have you no but actually no No, I'm an artist I um I have a fine arts degree um now I'm doing the most creative work I think I've ever done you know remapping somebody's mind giving them something new giving them a new vision giving them something new to think about some new language it is the most creative stuff I've done. But yeah, I sold vintage clothing. I was a jewellery photographer, but always with this sort of awareness of, um, you know, marketing in a way that, one, I didn't want to, I, I was always fascinated with why people buy stuff, you know, why mm. people, yeah, how they interact all of that stuff why somebody's different to the next person I knew it had to do with the brain so I got obsessed about the brains obsessed about you know marketing in a way that people would feel good and it kind of all started from there that you bring all of that creativity to how you work now and I know that we've had sessions with each other you know working on the brain training stuff and uh you know I've been blown away by some of the techniques that you use to really delve into the blocks in the brain to really you know sort of pitch so, you know, let's talk about some of those techniques. And I remember one particular session where you were really using some visualization stuff with me, which of course really resonates with you as someone who is a sort of visual thinker and a creative thinker anyway. But we, you know, can you explain what we did and, and why it works for people as well? I don't mind sharing some of the weirdness that we had on EFT. <laughs> 
Absolutely. I mean, what the brain loves is something new, something innovative to really sort of tickle the imagination. And, you know, yeah. we get stuck in automation all the time, which, you know, is great for us when things are working. So where I come in is to disrupt that flow. And there are just, yeah, very, I, you know, it does boil down to a breathing techniques. It does, uh, we do this wonderful, sort of, you know, the EFT where we're tapping on mm-hmm. meridian lines and acupuncture lines, really clearing um, this stuff. It's all about accessing the subconscious though, not the conscious brain, not the unconscious brain. You know, the unconscious stuff is, your mind's just taking care of breathing, you know, walking, all of that sort of stuff. Don't you think about the conscious stuff is what we're focused on. The subconscious is the automation. So that's what I always work for. So I've got all these different techniques and the stuff that we did where we played with accessing and talking to that subconscious mind. And we got into visualizations that really tickle the brain that kind of went mad and weird and psychedelic because that's what's going to wake us up. That's what's going to go, hang on a minute. Hello, knock, knock, knock. You're thinking something differently now. And it's very loud and clear. You know, when I talk to somebody about goal setting, I say, set 10 billion, you know, go crazy, go over the top. Mm. Somebody came to me recently and said, you know, they're looking to ask them, uh, their line manager, they want a company car. Everyone at their level is, you know, has got a company car. They want to spend a bit more time working at home. Um, and they think they had, you know, they wanted a pay increase. And I said, then ask for a car, ask for a jumbo jet, ask for this, ask for a new net. <laughs> because then they got to, yeah, to that point where they're like, that's just, you know, they, they started laughing. The fear comes down. And then the realization of actually, yeah, actually asking for a company car when everyone else on my level has it doesn't seem so scary, weird or, or fearful. So, yeah. What I love is that, you know, disruption is so much part of your work and your magic with you know, what you bring to, you know, this stuff. And of course, that's what I work with too when we're doing creative thinking. Like we had a great session together, didn't we, last week when we were doing some brainstorming. We were just loving it. And, you know, when we get to, you know, generate ideas, So I work with triggers and with creative thinking techniques to sort of generate different ideas for different outcomes, for your products, for your service, all of that stuff. You work with that creative genius to disrupt what our brains all, so, you know, our brains are running that process, right? Yeah. And looking at core beliefs and core patterns, you know, and really, because, you know, our brains are plastic. We are now aware that, you know, we can physically, mentally, emotionally, energetically, spiritually, recreate these patterns i love looking at core patterns one thing that i always say to to people and i you know i'd love for your listeners to sort of really start uh, observing this in themselves is how you do anything is how you do everything how you show up at work how you show up in your business how you show up in your relationship how you show up in your relationship with food your relationship with money it's you are you are your patterns you are your habits if they're not working for you know that they can be changed and yeah, just crazy. Right. Subconscious is what it's all about. So, Heather, you know, right now, and and how do you break down some of those patterns? So, where my skill, I think, really is, is in this intuitive. Just I can see somebody. I'm reading somebody, you know, very clearly. I'm hearing what the words they say, the patterns, uh, and that kind of thing. And I'm able to hone in on a core belief. Now, what I would suggest for somebody if they're struggling, whether it's in their business, relationship, relationship with food, relationship with money, um, that they look at their top five or ten thoughts that are the sort of struggle thoughts, the, the thoughts that are keeping them sort of worried or up at night. And it could be like, "I'm not good at this. I'm a fraud." You know, especially mm. people that I work with sort of female entrepreneurs, they have got that, I'm overwhelmed, there's so much to do, where do I start, where do I begin? You know, even if they are wanting to set up business as a marketer and they're still not able to market their business, they're going to have a, a thought. So it's it's looking at those top five, I'd say, thoughts and then seeing where else they, they show up in your life. These are going to be your core patterns. Know that you can change them. And oh my gosh, that is so, so powerful to know that you have control, yes. that you have to, you know, some keys to unlock your very own brain yes. and change the way that you live. Phenomenal. And so what, you know, what do you love the most about what you do? What lights you up? Well, the, relief, the relief and the fact that, you know, we can access this 
just intuitive, infinite source, you know, energy. And you're not taking it away from anybody else. You know, I love just seeing these people's lives transform. And, you know, I think a lot of women, we all support each other. You know, there is an absolute beautiful kind of sister sisterhood, but also it does reflect um, honest when we see somebody else doing well whether it's a, a woman or a man and we then sort of feel bad about ourselves so what I love most about this is just knowing that you know it's just you it's just you and your relationship with your own world your your own life creating that yes and I'm gonna reach out now because we do have some people watching us live on this um on this live stream record Yay. so if anyone is watching hi peeps I know that Kat said hello but if you've ever experienced that or the sense of uh you know the home anything like that then you know in the comments and let us know what kind of things you have come across but i've certainly gone to heather and said heather we've got to tap away yes got to visualize some of my blogs um you know it's a really really powerful technique and also if any of you have tried eft oh hi lisa lisa from florida hi darling um, if any of you have tried some techniques to overcome some of those blocks, you know, what have they been? We'd love to involve you in this in this live podcast record discussion. So, and one of the things I found really powerful, Head, was when, you know, we did our session and we really brought, you know, we brought in some visuals that really bring everything to life. It was so exciting for me to be able to, you know, picture. I think I was literally reaching a wall, wasn't I? And we literally yeah. had a wall yeah. and, you know, visuals through it cutting out this I think we drew a door yeah, and chalk we gave you a magic pen <laughs> sorry I, I, I'm kind of hearing bits and, and um, it's cutting out a little bit but yes you you came to me and said I'm just I've got this wall in front of me got this one in front of me I'm like okay let's look at this wall what color is it you know you know how big is it can you see over the top what do you think is behind it and there was some hesitation about going through it but we gave you a chalk and you you stepped out a door out on this wall we're like we're going to give you a way out of this goddamn fucking wall because it's in your way and i literally it's brilliant and i literally in my mind's eye in this session with heather drew a chalk door onto this imaginary wall now if it currently wants to instead this sounds a little bit nuts but it was such a powerful technique and actually now whenever i think about oh i've reached a wall my brain yeah. immediately goes to this wall out and, you know, through this session with Heather, you know, we're using a whole you know, a whole range of techniques, weren't we? We were using tapping, using visualization. There's all the beautiful stuff which you're so clever at to really get me into that space where I could walk through this door. And I saw people on the other side. I saw people that I really admire, you know, all my kind of peers, you know, and colleagues that I didn't feel all out there just waiting for me saying, Joe, just walk through the door. It's fine. We're all... all yes. Arms outstretched. Come out. Arms outstretched. And then yeah. it, it gave me that internal permission to say, of course I deserve to walk through that door and to be, you know, with my friends and colleagues on the other side. It's totally fine. And so whatever your situation is, you know, whether you're working with, you know, weight loss or anxiety, you know, something to do with leadership perhaps in your but this stuff is really, really powerful. And we it's took it at your own pace as well. We took it at your own um pace because we you know I sort of said when we visualize the door you know what's what's the door handle like are you ready to walk forward do you want to do two some breathing do you want to and we didn't get you to walk forward until you were absolutely ready and calm in the body yeah. and calm in the mind and that's what makes the difference you know some people will say oh uh, I'm taking the marketing thing again because uh, somebody says oh you know I'm really crap at marketing and I'm not there to you know this isn't just positive thinking this is actual remapping of the brain so in order you know there's no point in saying oh from oh I'm really crap at marketing to I'm really amazing at marketing you brought your body and your brain's not going to believe it you're going to go okay in the past I've thought that I'm not good at marketing but now I'm open to the idea that I can access these tools I can access these resources you know, and bring it in. So we're really just moving that conversation on. And yeah, you're bringing up obviously the main, the core technique that I use, which is EFT, emotional freedom technique, where you tap. Mm. It's the most powerful, epic, 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 simple technique, but it can be used in a variety of ways. You know, it's a, I use it in sort of different creative ways, but it is epic. <laughs> the people don't know no, about, it. Don't about it. Yep. You know, I would love to do is to run through a really short round of 
of EFT mm-hmm. here, here now, if that's all right. Mm-hmm. And I've got a brilliant example. I know that, you know, a lot of people watching would probably be in the situation as well. It's half term currently as we record this, which means that my beautiful children have me and being a mum, which occasionally, Heather, hands up, it leads to overwhelm. Yes. So if we were to talk about overwhelm, how a short round of EFT, perhaps we could actually show people, how, you know, how a short round would work. And then I'd love to ask you about, you know, we've been talking about some pretty out there stuff using visuals. What if someone watching this or listening to the podcast is saying, but Heather and Joe, I'm not creative. I, you know, in a wall or a chalk, get myself out. Say to people, are skeptical, use their creativity in something like this. Um, that your brain is so beautiful and is so protecting, is so full of self-love, you know. So when you start accessing it, Wow, you you will come up with the weird and wonderful. Don't worry about thinking that you're not creative. Again, that's just a thought you've just been thinking. You know, yeah. one thing about sort of beliefs are a thought pattern that you have been thinking or a cluster of thoughts, you know, and over time, because of that energy has just been getting you in a resonance, this focus, 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 you're attracting that. You know, people talk about law of attraction. It's actually that a magical brain power that you're you're accessing that focus, you're bringing it in, and then you go, oh, I've got the evidence. Look at all these times where I wasn't creative. And it's like, mm-hmm. what's that what you're focusing on? How amazingly powerful is your brain at just zoning in, honing in and bringing that in? I love it. I love it. And in fact, I think on episode four of this podcast, um, I had a Slido episode which talked about the creative stereotype effect, which is research that, you know, sort of people who, who did a series of things with, the, you know, trying to imagine, I think they, you know, there was sort of like a persona of a librarian it's like okay so your librarian's doing this task and the other half are going to pretend that you're eccentric poets and the ones who associated with being an eccentric poet were like I've got this I've got loads of ideas because I'm I'm you know identifying with this personality but the ones who are librarians not saying librarians are creative no 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 (laughs) no. that sort of yeah that persona and they they were more stifled and it's that we stop being creative from a really young age you know my kids this morning were playing with flower heather we were you know doing some baking we were you know making a massive mess like in the kitchen and it took every ounce of my sort of grown up spirit just to let them you know for some you know some all over the kitchen floor because i'm like they're in the moment they're enjoying it this is what it's about i don't just start thinking that they shouldn't be creating that they shouldn't be enjoying that stuff because they teach me much about that side of my brain and finding joy and finding all the way upstairs at my house right now we've got massive white um sort of whiteboards that are full of uh, sort of drawings and I love growing up so, you know we can really easily start to sort of talk ourselves out of what happened what time and to something different or, or to be and you know I know what I teach with the brilliant ignition stuff is around making tiny tweaks on a daily basis so sort of watching something new every day or listening to something new or wearing a different lipstick or you know reading perspectives so you haven't got to be much though you know I personally believe that everybody is an artist you know everyone's in a child is in the uh, be creative you can let go of that fear by take, starting to take so yeah, like a demonstration round. Fabulous. Let's do it. I um and I know as you you know you've seen that I put on these Doctor Sketchy events where I bring <laughs> in for yeah live drawing and everybody says oh but I can't draw and they're like brilliant then this is perfect this is for you because it's about yeah just getting out of your own head and just drawing with your left hand drawing with your mouth drawing your eyes doing something silly you know when you start doing that. Your body relaxes. There's no kind of pressure. And then we can. We can just be and accomplish so much. I love the idea of the different types. You can also do that. The different hats. Do the different coloured hats. The six thinking hats. Yes. Yeah, the Dibono technique of the six thinking hats is really powerful. So you're literally wearing a different viewpoint. So there's an actual, you know, kind of exercise by the world famous creative thinker, Edward de Bono, where you literally wear a different coloured hat and you have to think of of a different perspective of that situation by wearing that hat. So for people that haven't heard of Dr. Sketches as as well, Heather, what is your Dr. Sketches event? Because I just love it. (laughs) Oh, I know we need to get you there. (laughs) So yeah, Dr. Sketches is a life drawing class like no other. 
It's, um, yeah, they did knife drawing at the Moulin Rouge. So we just bring in the most beautiful, amazing burlesque performers who just come and do a wonderful performance and then pose for our pencils. And yeah, a variety of different uh, fun drawing challenges. It's so non-judgmental. As soon as you get there, we just do like a one minute sketch, a two minute sketch, and then we're holding them up. Everyone is just seeing where everyone else is. It just, it calms the whole kind of pressure. Oh. Oh, I'm not, you know, I'm not good enough. Number one, massive, everyone has it. Um, and this, the, just getting into the fun of it then. And then you just loosen up. Then you really, your creativity can flow. And it's so wonderful to get back to pens and paper, actually. Oh, isn't it? Like, you know, I'm, I'm a massive fan of, of getting your pen to paper. And, and in fact, now when I plan my week and stuff like that, you know, I, I, I've gone back to my Sharpies and to my bullet yes. journal. And, and like, I love my Google Calendar. I love my Trello. I love all my tech. But I love that mindfulness of yes. just being with the beauty in my pens and the colour and even things like applying colour to different days and to different parts of it, mm-hmm. see that pain resonate with it in a in a different way. So, you know, bringing creativity to how you plan and to how you experience your day just changes yeah. it so, so much. And in it's, fact, you know, in fact, even even yesterday, I was feeling like a little bit sort of jaded, like a little bit like okay, you know, a lot of stuff going on. And I spent some time you know, to put on some bright blue nail body. Beautiful. Just sort of neon necklace, like some like some bright coral lipstick, just surrounded myself with colour and vibrancy. You know, the colours that I needed. Yes. And, you know, little tiny tweaks of creativity like that are, are, are available to us all over to be able to help change our perspective. Absolutely. So, Heather, yeah, we could talk about, yes. <laughs> Let's just we'll get into that. We'll come back to that. I, I just want to do like a little sample round for anyone who Ooh. might not have ever ex- experienced EFT before. So let's let's pretend that I have imposter syndrome. Let's pretend, Heather, because obviously that's not the case. Never <laughs> would that be the case. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has it right. So how would we do a lightning round to get me in space? Uh, in, did you say in overwhelm? Yeah, overwhelm and imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome. Oh, just, well, like, describe to me what you mean by imposter syndrome. I feel like an imposter, like I'm worthy of talking about creative things. Right, 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 right. I feel like a fraud. I feel like a fraud. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this comes up so much with people starting, you know, new businesses or just, you know, people in, women in business. It's sort of like, who am I? Like, who are you not to? You're there for, you know, you're, we're doing this bit for a reason. So what, um, yeah, if you've not heard of this before, if you've not seen how this works, we are going to say some stuff that's very, very negative. That sounds really negative when I'm doing it. And don't be afraid to, you know, to just jump on in and kind of tap along with this. Because what we're doing is we're, we're acknowledging that negative voice or that unhelpful voice or basically the protector voice. It's not self-sabotage. It is just protection. So I'm going to be saying things like, you know, I'm crap. I'm not good enough. Don't. This isn't training your brain into that. It's releasing it. It's letting it go. And we need to be just because that's what we're fighting against. We're trying to fight against this idea the whole time. So when we just let that go through this technique, you're going to get a sort of sense of relief. And then we move it into a sort of more positive grounding kind of speech and that's what then gets sucked up at the cellular level. So we, it is a cross between acupuncture and NLP. It's like they got a room and created this amazing brainchild that is. <laughs> I love that. They got a room. They just got a room. They got it on. And wow, thank God they did. So, yeah, it is an energetic technique. You are, you will be consciously talking to your subconscious. Maybe. For the first time, because we're just we're either in our conscious brain or subconscious brain the whole time. Watch just what I won't go through the points. You'll just see where the points are, and I'll just jump on around. So at every thought or thought cluster, I'd like you to rate it on a scale of zero to ten. Ten being the most intense. So how intense is that feeling that you feel like an imposter, a fraud right now? I'm gonna go with a six. Six. And sometimes it's good to kind of know where you feel that in the body. Again, we hold emotions in different parts of the body and we certainly hold memories and yeah, all this emotional storage gets stored up. So where would that be in the body? I feel it here, 
just top in my chest, chest actually my chest top chest area and this is weird because if you know something oh my god i i need to keep this focused but i just want to say quickly about the shower <laughs> Right, this, is, this is what happens when me and Jay get into a conversation. We're like, there's so many things that we need to talk about right now. And everything's amazing. All of the things. All of the things. <laughs> but this is interesting about the different points in the body, the different energy centers. Mm -hmm. And if, you, if it's here, then it's, you know, it's going towards the communication center and creativity center, which is the throat. Mm -hmm. um, and it's also near the heart center as well, which is, you know, this is about your, you know, your worth, your your view of you. So it's natural that's going to sit there. So let's do some breathing because that's part of this. I'd love to just breathe in. So guys, if you're watching, feel free to join in while you're with me and Heather while I do this live round. So, okay. Breathe in. Take a breath in through the nose and out through the mouth with some noise. We're going to just be connecting the body presently drawing in all parts of you in back into the body, back in this moment, breathing through the nose. And out. Give yourself a smile, one last breath. And tapping side of the hand, repeating after me, even though a part of me feels like a fraud, Part of me feels like a fraud. Part of me feels like an imposter. Part of me feels like an imposter. I love and accept myself now. I love and accept Breathe. <sighs> Even though. Even though. A part of me feels. Part of me feels. Like I have no right to do this. Like I have no right to do this. Who am I to do this work? Who am I to do this work? I love and accept myself and I'm okay. I love and I'm okay. Even though yeah. I have yeah. this feeling in my chest. I have this feeling in my chest. This tension in my body. This tension in my body. I'm choosing to love and accept myself now. I'm choosing to love and accept myself now. Lovely. Top of the head, breathing in, tapping that point there. Ah, oh, this feeling. This feeling. Tapping the eyebrows, it's where the eyebrows start. This feeling. Ah, side of the eye. I feel like a fraud. I feel like a And the eye, breathing in. Ah, I haven't got it. My own shit together. I haven't got my own shit together. Three. Who am I to show others? Who am I to show others? Chin point, breathe. <sighs> this feeling. This feeling. This worry. This worry. What will others think of me? me. I feel like an imposter. I feel like an, an imposter. Who am I to do this work? Who am I to do this work? I've been telling myself for so long. I'm telling myself. I'm not good enough. I'm not. Can you see me okay? Great. Yeah. I've been telling myself for so long. I've been telling myself for so long. I'm not good enough. I'm, not good. I'm open to changing this pattern now. I'm open to changing this pattern now. It will benefit me and others. It will benefit me and others. You can release this feeling. Release this feeling. You can let it go. Let it go. I choose to relax now. I choose to relax now. I choose to know. I choose to know. That I am good enough. That I am good enough. I'm here to do this work. I'm here to do this work. I'm choosing to accept this now. I'm to accept this now. At the cellular level. At a cellular level. Lovely. Take a breath here. Place your hands on your heart. <sighs> breathe in, breathe out. 
eyes. Just allow that, this movement of energy to just flow through you as we have activated those, those, those powerful points. We made what we were talking about super conscious for our subconscious mind to, to just come in and allow all the beneficial stuff to be taken back in. Nice. If people are watching this in the well, day. Feels... <laughs> if you just tuned in <laughs> on the live stream, it was just what I Sorry. I'm just sitting here with Heather with my hands on my heart. Going, I love you, Heather. I love you. <laughs> I love you, baby. <laughs> but um, so we've just done a live round tea, which gives you an example of how. Oh, actually, I feel so calm now, Heather. I just need to keep you in, in my life. How did that? You were at a six. Where are you now? Oh, like two, three. <laughs> like that's just like I'm like whatever. No imposter syndrome. Oh. Like, that's that's totally fine. Like the calming effect as well of tapping on those points that we were just tapping on the podcast. I will put the links below and see the taps. Um, and doing, and I'll link to Heather as well. So you know, she's got all this stuff, all you know, all these resources for you guys. But the calming effect of just telling yourself, I got mm. it. And now I think okay, that's just a thought. Mm. We're here, I'm re- you know, I'm creating another. You're, 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 you know, you you're wanted you're needed you're in the right and perfect place you know always we all are and when we just you know tell ourselves that that's what keeps happening but the physical effect that calming that you're getting is because we're calming the fight flight freeze response in the amygdala gland that is just kind of going oh there's nothing to worry about there's no threat there's no there's no worries here i'm not needing to like hold my breath that's why we do breathing at the start because it's really kind of needing to integrate that breathing at the end and also my my it's like my natural now. <laughs> my natural hypnotic voice takes over and everyone goes oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is lovely I've listened to you all day but, but it is it's so what I love as well with that there's this powerful acupuncture meets NLP and you know then you throw in you know so you've created as well you've created a way of working yeah it's not just it's just acupuncture it's not just energy work it's not just visualization you've blown up your own blueprint by saying right this is what brain training is this like this is is, and and you've created your own way of doing it which is so unique to you and is absolutely having killer results isn't it Uh, yeah and I love it you know I love the work that I do and it's not that you know I that I had this stuff sussed before because, you know, I did this work on myself. I, back in 2009, I had a, a year where I was just, just in bed, completely depressed and zero motivation, um, just a load of crap. You know, I got myself motivated. I got, and that's when I sort of started the sketches, when I started doing, you know, this great stuff. And then even more recently, in the last sort of two years, looked at my, relationship with my body, relationship with emotional eating, you know, clearing those cravings. You can remap your brain for anything. I am now the happiest, the richest and the thinnest I've ever been. (laughs) 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 All because of thinking differently, you know, just knowing my worth, just, yeah, loving each day and doing the practice, doing the reps on this stuff because the brain will you know, keep trying to protect the original program that you set in your early stages of development around seven, eight or nine. And I know that we've gone back and done the matrix work, which is like EFT on acid, where... <laughs> right, I just need to intercede here just a little bit because I was explaining to somebody yesterday it's re-imprinting work, which, you know, which Heather did, but it was the most powerful yeah. Yeah. thing in the whole world. So really briefly your magical matrix re-imprinting is so yeah it's like doing that that tapping round that we did just did then you've got that lovely calm sensation that clarity from that point you can move forward you know making the right decisions we go back to the key events and experiences in your life where you set the original decision to whether it is about family whether it's about money money is bad or you know Mm. um, uh, just whatever it is and we go back to that key point we literally step into that memory and I create it sort of visually. You, you know, you give me all the information and it's like me sending you back in 
it's and yeah we create this sort of space pause time you're doing that protocol in that moment and because you're doing it from that moment you're changing literally it's like a time machine it's like i feel like a molly mcfly mm -hmm. but with bigger boots <laughs> Um, and just going back <laughs> into that, those key moments and clearing from that moment, it clears down your, your pipeline, it clears down your timeline. And so when you're trying to pull from that past hurt, because we're living, you know, moment to moment, but we are our past, we are our patterns, it doesn't activate the same energetic mm, anymore. And you just like, oh, I don't feel like that anymore. I just have so many people saying, Chocoholics, serious chocoholics would come to me, just, you know, binge eating, all of the, you know, big emotional trauma and upset. And they're like, yeah, I just don't do that anymore. I just don't think about it anymore. I just, I'm losing weight and I'm not thinking about it. You know, these past traumas, I'm more empowered now. It's just, it isn't just positive thinking. This is literally oh, training your brain, thinking differently. <laughs> the power that that has. Yeah. Incredible. You can change your life by changing your brain. And I know when we did, you know, did my sort of matrix re, re imprinting session, A, I love the fact that we did it while you were sitting in <laughs> wearing a Wonder Woman outfit. Just just for context, the fact that I had gym I session wearing her Wonder Woman outfit, it was just beautiful. And, and she was like, hey, babe, I think, you know, car, and we're going to do this matrix re imprinting thing. Just the <laughs> Wonder Woman outfit. I'm like, as woman anymore. Um, and, you know, at the end of mine, we had this whole visualization. Yeah. Mojito with the younger version of me, you know, having told her that all right, it's all fine. As the older version of me, who's really wise, I go back to that visualization and hang out in the pub with the three versions of me <laughs> as if that's a normal thing. <laughs> and this is it because I'm the chat. We're doing that anyway. We're going back and reliving, you know, in the memories. So why not make this really that the quantum realm? This is quantum thinking. This is kind of like, you know, accessing and just then creating your life in this reality, in this version of reality, just even more amazing, dream-filled, wonderful. Oh, my goodness. And also, just before we close out, like what I love as well is when we brain use creative thinking triggers we're also accessing that quantum realm aren't we because we're yes part yeah of our brains and when we you know do all that stuff when we step into using our creativity and when we're in triggers or we're doing like you know sort of vision or we're just using our brains and you're outside of, of all the normal patterns mm. that are running around that are in there telling you what you know how you should feel right now or you know what your thoughts are doing blah 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 you you are able to create a new reality yes. Yes. while you're brainstorming, which is like, you know, it's like you use this for our business and stand up brand. Yes, of course, we can use this for content and packages and for blah, blah, blah. But actually, we can manifest stuff in our lives yeah, while brainstorming and dreaming. Like, <laughs> we're always huge. manifesting. We're always manifesting stuff in our lives. It's that when we know our power and we realize that, oh my goodness, we can do this on call. You know, I get to design it. Wow, that's sort of the next level. I just really want to share with you something that I did with somebody recently that you think you'd love, which is a visualization where she was like, there's these girls who are judging me. So we put them in the stand. We put all these people in like a dock with the big kind of the judgy wigs and we grew <laughs> the wigs really tall. And then we grew them really, really tall. And then she grew sort of, big. it was just, there's so much fun you can have with these with these sort of visualizations and this brain work for you to be feel more empowered, feel more of that sort of self love, and yeah, that's what that's what I want for people really. I Just love that. Funny, you know? And in fact, that reminds me of when we were drawing the dummy vision board. We had a huge chalk, I think, and I, I imagined that I was holding this massive piece of chalk. To get, but by changing. All of yeah. that stuff. Like I'm really, I'm really connected to it because I, I, I have that concept, and I, you know, in my brain, that's a an image which we were able to build up that really connected me to it. And so I, I know any time that my chalk is there, I can go right, yes, <laughs> yes, or, or that I could go and hang in the pub with you, have a little mojito, sort it all out, which is an incredibly <laughs> make my <mine a> double. <laughs> You're down the bar with older you and younger you anyway. You're <laughs> <laughs> the header. 
we're gonna have to have talk more about all this stuff because I just love yes. your work I love you I love all the stuff that you're doing in the world and how much you're empowering people through your brain training and through your creativity and the way that you're using so Heather, where can we find you what juiciness about you uh yeah you can find me braintrainer.info and i'm hanging out more and more on instagram which i just love i think it's a fabulous community over there so at the brain trainer on instagram and hit right here on facebook forward slash the brain trainer beautiful so before we go has anyone got any questions for the lovely heather who have been here on the live stream for anyone who's watched us do the live eft or you know heard about how heather used creativity and brain training and work so we're we could open up to a, a if anyone um, has anything to, while she's here, do give us a shout. But um, welcome to send us a question. Uh, you, know, you can email me, joe at joegifford.co, on the next podcast, or uh, you know your thoughts on each show. I'd love to hear you know what you thought you know, with Heather, and, and particularly any insights that you, you know that you guys have had, you know, with your own brain blocks and with you know an experience that you might follow that live tapping love to hear how so any any cues before we sign off Let's check on all the screens. they're also zend out we've just we've I made think we've them body. <laughs> we have we've chilled everyone out cool yeah. well thank you so much for being here the lovely heather jones and um the braintrainer.info is where you can find more about her and i think we're gonna have to have you back on the show my lovely to talk about more of this creativity stuff it's, it's juicy work all right, darling. Thank you, you so much. <laughs> See you later.